inside of this garage is a good place to find an animal called Loxoceles reclusa. And most people know this animal as the brown recluse spider. This is the brown recluse spider, and if we compare it to my pinky finger, you can see it's not really that much bigger than your average house spider. And it's native to the United States and can be found from Texas to Georgia and as far north as southern Iowa. The spider really isn't too hard to identify. As you can tell from its name, it has a mostly brown body and has that violin shape on the top of its head. Although that's not really the best defining feature because there are some other spiders with similar patterns. But if we were to zoom in on its face, you can see that it has six eyes, unlike most other spiders, which have eight. And its eyes are arranged in a way that it has two in the front and then two on each side. And it also has this grayish, elongated abdomen in the very back. Brown recluses are similar to black widows in the sense that they weave really irregular webs. So you're not going to see these guys on typical spider webs. They kind of just live on cobwebs in the corners of basements, garages, or an attic. Now these spiders aren't really aggressive, so most bites happen when the spider gets caught against your skin. And some typical scenarios are if the spider's in your bed sheets or in your clothes, or more often if you leave your boots or gloves inside of a garage, the spider will walk inside for shelter. And then when you come to put your hands or your feet inside of the boots or the gloves, the spider's going to be caught against your skin and it's going to bite to defend itself. And you're not really in any danger of dying, although the bite is pretty painful. And there's only some cases where people have died from these, but it's mostly old people or young individuals who have a compromised immune system. In most cases, the bite is just going to be really painful and it might result in some uh, necrotic tissue, which basically just means that the area around the bite wound will probably start decomposing. The brown recluse spider is a survivalist, which can withstand really hot and dry conditions, and it can even go for a couple of months without eating, so it's pretty well adapted to living in places like attics and garages.